Hey everyone and welcome. In this video, I'll look at a book rating dataset from Goodreads and will create a recommendation model using ML.NET. Note that this will be using version 0.7 of ML.NET. For some reason, I've been getting some errors when using 0.8 with this project, but as soon as they are resolved, I will mention how to update this example to 0.8. Now let's take a quick look at the dataset itself. It's from Kaggle, so the data is mainly pre-processed already. There are two CSVs that I'll be using, the ratings file, which has each user ID, book ID, and the user's rating for the book. There's also the book features CSV, which has all the details for each book. And this is mainly for getting the book details for the ID. So I'm in Visual Studio and the .NET Core console project. I already have the project set up to get started. For instance, I already have the ML.NET 0.7 package downloaded and have put in the datasets into the project. Note that for this recommendation model, I also need the Microsoft.ML.Matrix factorization package, since we will be using the matrix factorization trainer. And for a good explanation about matrix factorization, there's a link to a good video for it in the description. All right, so the first thing to do here is to set up where to get the data from. So I'll get the data path set up and then get a variable to hold where the data is. And then I need to read in the data. First, though, I need to create the ML context. Now I can create the text reader from it. And this takes in an instance of the text loader arguments as a parameter so I can use this to tell how the data looks. For instance, I can say what separator it has and if it has a header. I can also specify the columns. There's only three columns here, the rating, which I'll call label, the user, and the book ID. Now I'll set the data count to R4, which I believe is a float, and then I'll tell it which location they are in the file. With that set up, we can call the read on the reader and pass in the path of the data. Now I like to split my data so I can use some of it to test my model with. To do this, I'll call the train test split method that's located on the context and the binary classification property. Give it the data from the reader above, and then I'll put in a test fraction as 0.2. Note that I have the parentheses in the variable, and this is because a train test split method returns a tuple. The first item is the training data, and the second item is the test data. Now that we have our data prepared, let's build our pipeline. The first thing to do is to encode our user and book IDs. So we'll use the map value to key method that's on the context that transforms the categorical property. And this method takes in the original column name we use when reading the data. And first I'll do the user, and then I'll encode the book ID. For each one of these items, you can use the append method to attach them to the pipeline. And the last item in the pipeline will be to use the algorithm. And as mentioned above, I'll use the matrix factorization trainer. And I'll pass in the context, as well as the string with the label name, which I named label from the reader. And then I'll use the encoded user ID and book ID names. I can add some advanced settings, such as the number of iterations that it goes through, which I'll set to 20 and the number of k to 100, which you can think of it as using k-means clustering within this trainer. With the pipeline set up, I can now train the model by calling the fit method and passing in the training data. All right, so now that I have the model, let's evaluate it with the test set. And in order to do that, I need to transform it the same way I did the training set. And all I need to do is to call the transform method off the model and give it the training data set. And so now that we have the same kind of data in a test set as in the training set, I can just call the context, that regression, that evaluate method, and give the transform test set. And that would give us regression metrics such as root mean squared and R squared that we can use to evaluate how good the model is. And last, I want to be able to make a recommendation from the model. And before I can do that, I do need to make some classes. Specifically, the classes that hold the schema of the input data 
and another to hold the prediction output. I'll create a new class and name it book rating. And in here, I just add a few fields, fields, label, user, and book ID. I'll create another new class and call it book rating prediction. And that would just have label and score fields on it. Now with those created, I can now make the prediction function by calling the make prediction function off of the model. And since it's generic, I'll add the book rating and book rating prediction for the input and output classes, and then pass in the context as a parameter. And now that the prediction function is created, I can now make a prediction on it. So I'll take a random user and book IDs and then pass those in, and then I'll look at the output score to see what the predicted rating is. And I'll run this and see what we get. You'll see when it's training, it goes through some root mean squared error information for each iteration. And then there's also the model evaluation metrics. Then there's the prediction. So for the user that we chose, our model predicts that they would rate the book that we chose as around two. And there we have it. We have a recommender for book ratings using ml.net. I hope you learned something from this video. If you like more videos like this, please subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.